YouTube, it's Erin, and I am the Handbag Housewife, and I'm back again with yet another video. Today's video, I want to do a comparison because I just looked on YouTube and realized that nobody has done this yet, at least not one that I can pull up with the search terms that I used. The comparison I want to do is to compare these two beauties. This is the Saint Laurent Lulu bag in the size small, and this is the Coach Pillow Madison, and there is only one size of this bag currently. These two bags are both puffy bags, although the Lulu by Saint Laurent also comes in a puffer style. But I don't have that one. That one is actually made out of lamb leather, which I suppose is more similar to this one, but it also has more of a rocker type vibe that I get from it. So I feel like these are perhaps a better comparison with the exception of the fact that the Lulu is all calf leather and this is a blend of calf and lamb leather. It is just a little bit more lamb than it is calf. The percentage I've read is that it's 55% lamb and 45% calf, while this one is 100% calf. I have two colors in each one of these bags. I have this one in the light coral and the army green, and I have this one in the earth gray and the dark beige. This one is the dark beige. So first I wanna do a side-by-side -side size comparison. So let me just back up and we'll take a look. Just eyeballing it, I would say that the Pillow Madison is a tiny bit wider, but it also is a tiny bit puffier. Let's look at it from the side. I think you could definitely say that the Lulu is wider. Something I found out that I think is really interesting though, is that my army green is even more narrow than my light coral Madison. I can show you here, it's a pretty substantial difference and it has to do with how the bags are constructed. If you look here from the front or from this angle, you can see that the corner of the quilting is sort of tucked into the side on the army green, while on the pink, the corner is almost flush with the side of the bag. So that may result in just a little bit more interior space in the army green, although I doubt it is noticeable. I also believe that is why the army green was tipping over on me, and many of you have told me that your Pillow Madisons don't tip over on you. I found that this light coral does not tip over on me. So I think it's because it is weighted this way because the base is not spread out quite as much as this one is. So since I think this is probably the way the bag was supposed to be made with less of this edge tucked in, I'm going to use this one to compare to the YSL or Saint Laurent Lulu. Okay, so we've done a front and a side comparison. Let's look at the bottom. I would say that the Lulu is definitely more stable because it has a flatter, less rounded bottom. If you look at the Madison, there is a slight curve to the bottom where it puckers out from where the quilting ends and the bottom begins. Really on the Lulu, you have a very flat base. So as far as stability goes, I have never had an issue with the Lulu staying upright, no matter whether I have the chain draped behind the bag or in front of the bag. On the Pillow Madison, however, I do need to drape the chain behind the bag oftentimes. That sort of depends on the type of surface that I am resting this bag on and how flat it is, as well as how my items are positioned in the bag. If you look at these from the side, you will see that the Pillow Madison has a double flap and the Saint Laurent does not. So that is a major difference. Another major difference is when you look at the back, the Pillow Madison has a generous back pocket and the Saint Laurent does not have any back pocket. This is a major drawback in many people's opinions for the Saint Laurent Lulu. It would have been really easy for them to put a back pocket here, especially with this seam that they already have there on the bag. It's not like the pillow tabby where there's a continuous piece of leather running over the top. There's a break right there anyway. 
I think what I may do is go ahead and weigh the bags, but by just judging them like this, I would say the weights are very similar. If you look at the straps of the bags, the Pillow Madison has leather woven into the gold chain and the St. Laurent Lulu has no leather woven into the chain, but it does have two bits of leather at the top. And for that reason, the St. Laurent Lulu is definitely a winner in terms of comfort over the Pillow Madison because these leather bits allow you to crossbody the bag very comfortably. And this bag, I think if you had to wear it any length of time, whether on the shoulder or crossbody, these chains would start to dig in. For short bits of time, it's very comfortable on the shoulder with the leather woven in. I don't think I could put things in it and wear it crossbody really for any length of time longer than maybe a minute or two. I have a luggage scale here. I thought I would go ahead and weigh both bags. Neither bag has anything in it, no stuffing, no nothing. So this will give us an idea of the difference. The Pillow Madison weighs 1.1 pounds. There you go. And let's go ahead and weigh the YSL Lulu. I've heard other YouTubers out there talk about two pounds as being their limit. And everybody has a limit as far as how much weight they can tolerate. But 1.1 pounds is not too bad for a bag. So let me go ahead and measure the Lulu now. Interesting. The Lulu weighs 1.5 pounds. So it weighs 0.4 pounds more than the Pillow Madison. I kind of want to double check it because maybe I didn't hold it quite the same. Yes, I think it had to do with how I started, but the Pillow Madison also weighs 1.5 pounds. And I would have guessed that from feeling them. So that's why I went ahead and remeasured. So they are both 1.5 pounds, the exact same. So styling wise, let me just show you how these each rest on the body and how long the drop is. I'm finding that the drop is almost identical between the two. They both hit at a really nice place, just right at my hip when they are worn on the shoulder. Let's do the same test crossbody. So as you can see, they are both hitting me at the same spot crossbody and Right now, with nothing in them, I'm not noticing any discomfort with either one. One thing to keep in mind is that in terms of wear and tear, having the edges on this bag being rounded versus this bag coming to a point may prevent some issues. However, I do feel like the calf leather on this bag is gonna be more durable than the lamb leather on the exterior of this bag. So it may be a toss up in terms of durability of the exterior of the bag. Whenever it comes to the opening, the Pillow Madison has a turn lock opening. It opens like that. And then inside there's a magnetic portion to access the front pocket. And the back pocket is an open compartment with a zippered pocket. And then of course, don't forget the back pocket that you can use for your phone or whatever else you may want to keep handy. The St. Laurent Lulu opens up to a generous front pocket, a zippered area in the middle, and then a smaller back pocket that also has a slip pocket back in the back. So there's a little bit more organization in the Lulu in the sense that you have, I suppose this center zippered compartment is the extra part. If you equate this back slip pocket to the back zippered pocket in the Madison. I thought I would take out the things from my long shop extra small and put them in each bag so that I can show you what fits. I thought I would start by emptying the contents of my Peony Longchamp Extra Small into the Pillow Madison. The first thing that I am going to do is I'm going to put my large pouch inside of the bag. And by the way, 
This I believe is calfskin as well as the trim pieces and this pillow hang tag. The calfskin goes all the way down to the floor of the bag on this side. I have a feminine product that I'm going to go ahead and stick into the Pillow Madison, as well as a key clay from Louis Vuitton, another key clay from Louis Vuitton, a card holder by Coach, a pouch I use to keep some medicine. I've almost got everything out. So I've got keys, a AirPods case, hand sanitizer, and a hair tie. That's all in there. Perhaps not organized the best it can be, but you can see there's plenty of room. I'm going to put my cell phone in the exterior pocket where it slides in and magnetically closes. And then all I have left in this little bag is some cash and paperwork, coupons, and a comb. I'm going to stick those in the front pocket because I think it's easier to get in and out of by just a little bit than this zippered pocket. That way I can save the zippered pocket for something else. This is the first time I've done that, put stuff in the front pocket like that. Initially, I thought I wouldn't like that front pocket, but actually by loading that in there, it makes it so where the bag is super easy to close. Let me go ahead and put those in the back and see if the closure is any harder to do with the stuff in the back pocket, the zippered pocket. So it's in there now. It's slightly harder, but not much. And it may be balanced slightly better in terms of sitting up and not tipping over. But again, if you put the chain to the back, I think it will be fine either way. Although look, see, I mean, it just like, if it's not perfectly level, it will tend to tip. Like it's just tipping forward just a little bit. And if you bump it, and boy, if you put that on the front side like that, it just tips right over, you see? So if I put it on the back side, if I put the chains across the back, I can balance it so where it will not tip over. Let's go ahead and put the items into the St. Laurent Small Lulu. Let's start out with the biggest item, like we did with the Pillow Madison. I'm gonna put that in the front compartment because it's the biggest compartment. Then go ahead and I'm gonna pull out the three card holders, which I'm gonna put in the back compartment of this bag. I'll probably go ahead and stick the one that I use the most in that back slip pocket so it's easier to grab. Then everything I have left is these little bits as well as the papers. And then of course the phone is in the back pocket. So all these papers will slide easily into the center divider as well as the comb. And you can see I have oodles of space still. I'm gonna put my phone in the front pocket as well as the medicine pouch, the key. I'll put the hand sanitizer and the AirPod in the back as well as the feminine product. And you can see I have plenty of room and it's perhaps just slightly better organized than in the Pillow Madison, but not much. There's not much difference. But this is what I wanna show you. If I drop the chain in the front, this bag doesn't tip over. So that is a difference. Certainly not a deal breaker. It's slightly better balanced with the chain back behind. But as you can see, they hold essentially the same amount. And the main difference is that the Pillow Madison, which I plan on loading up and using as soon as I'm done with this video, the Pillow Madison has this wonderful back pocket. I would say that the leather is just slightly softer. This is like the best calfskin leather I've ever felt. So the lamb is a little bit softer, but this still feels divine and is perhaps slightly more durable. And of course, the other huge exterior difference is that you have these leather bits on the chain of this bag, which make it more comfortable than this bag, even though it has leather woven into it. Let me go ahead and flip the camera back to the original position. Okay, that was a lot of work. I'm sweating. 
So I thought I would go ahead and bring this beauty out. This is my other St. Laurent Small Lulu. I love these bags. They smell, they smell absolutely divine. The smell does fade over time when you very first open one of these bags from St. Laurent. It just hits you. It's like a wall of wonderful leather scent. The coach bag, I don't really notice that much scent from it, but it doesn't smell bad. So this is the Army Green versus the Earth Gray. And the Earth Gray St. Laurent Lulu comes with this antiqued silver hardware. It's not as blackened as some of their silver hardware can be, but it is very beautiful. It's almost like a brushed nickel. And of course, the Army Green comes with the black copper hardware, which I hope and pray will hold up. Both of these bags, I would say, are extremely comparable. They hold a very similar amount. They're both puffy. They both feel very good. And the Pillow Madison wins out with the back pocket, but the Lulu wins out with this other portion of the strap. Other than that, they're pretty comparable, except for with price. You're going to pay over $2,000 for a St. Laurent Small Lulu, and you're going to pay just under $500 for the Coach Pillow Madison. So for me, this bag is worth it. I really love it. I don't need any more though. I've got a beautiful beige with gold hardware. It's actually, I believe, aged bronze hardware, but it looks like an antique gold, much like the Coach Brass. And then I've got a beautiful gray with a silver or aged nickel sort of hardware. However, with the Pillow Madison, since the price is lower, I'm able to get colors that I wouldn't spend over $2,000 on. I wouldn't spend that amount of money on a coral bag. I might spend it, well actually I have spent that amount of money on an army green colored bag because I have the Saint Laurent Collège bag, which is even a little more expensive than the Lulu in a green color with gold hardware. But this kind of pop of color, I really like the option of Coach to be able to put this into my wardrobe. I had a friend ask me today about what bag I reached for the most. And honestly, I don't reach for any bag the most. And I could not tell you out of all my bags, which one's my favorite, because I don't have a favorite. I love them all. There are a few that I don't carry hardly at all for various reasons. One of them is my Chanel Classic Flap. And the reason for that is because I'm trying to protect my investment and I have so many other beautiful bags, I don't need to chance messing that one up. As far as other bags go, I'm willing to carry just about any of them, but it's situational. So it really depends on where I'm going, what I'm doing, and what I'm wearing for what bag I pick. And I would be just as likely to pick this bag as the St. Laurent Lulu bag. So I hope this has been very informative for you. And if you are debating between this beautiful bag or this beautiful bag, you have enough information now to make your decision. Or maybe you will just get both like I did. <laughs> if you like this video, please give it a big thumbs up. About a third of you are not subscribed to the channel. If you aren't, what are you waiting for? Go ahead and subscribe. Also, if you haven't yet, please go follow me on Instagram. My name there is the same, The Handbag Housewife. Hope you all have a fabulous rest of your day, and I will talk to you again real soon. Thank you.